didn't manage for some reason to record sound on this bit. Uh, I was just explaining that we're going to try to work through issues with the um, clutch. So having replaced the slave cylinder, try to get that working and then move on to things like replacing the master cylinder should that be needed. Um, actually I was going to do it whilst doing other work but I never got on to other work because um, I haven't been out much over the last week or so. So we're going to move forward from there at this stage. Okay so we've installed it, we've got the bleed valve on. Let's see if the slave cylinder will now bleed properly. Well, that didn't feel your promising, I have to be honest. Um, let's have a look at the video and see what we've got. Okay, let's try to work through this again. We have here, can I see it well enough? This light. The, um, this is the pedal pivot pin. This is the push rod, I guess, that goes into the master brake cylinder here. Okay, and that going in, it should cause fluid to head down this pipe here. You can see it comes out the back and just behind. So here, well we can't, I can't, I've not got it in the picture. There is a pipe just behind here, just there. And that takes it down to my master brake, my slave cylinder, okay? So, um, and I know that I was getting something through it before. So I don't understand why I'm not now. We're just going to make sure that I haven't dislodged anything here by checking that that pivot is moving. Two, three, four. Okay. So I pushed that in four times. And so when I see the video, I should see it moving a few times. Okay, and that worked. I've already checked it, so what I'm hoping to see here is just here, we've got the oil. Okay, and um, I want to try again, and what I would like to see here is actually some bubbles or something. I don't know if I will. Um, that would indicate something's going on, at least in there. So, here we go. One, two, three, four. And have we got anything in there? All right, back underneath. Now, I've taken the um, I guess the rubber piping off. This is still loose. So when I press the pedal, we ought to see oil coming out of that. And if we don't, I'll go and investigate. So, <clears throat> here we go, pressing once, twice, three, four, Oh, let's see if we've got anything coming out. I don't see a mess on the floor here. And I didn't hear anything trickling, so I suspect that means not, which probably means I've got a blockage somewhere. Right, I still haven't got an answer or worked out what to do about this clutch. Mm. And the fact that I'm not getting... Um, I'm not getting any movement down at the slave cylinder when I put it, push in the clutch. I've actually left the slave cylinder on with the bleed tap open um, for 48 hours and there's no fluid coming out of the bleed tap at all. 
Um, now I don't know if that means that I've got some sort of vacuum in there that's stopping it. But what I want to do first, before I plan next steps, is I'm going to put it down, stick it in gear, and make sure it jumps forward. If it jumps forward, that proves it goes into gear, um, and that the clutch plate isn't sticking, I think. That's what I think it proves. Um, and so that, and then if I can, um, then if I take it out of gear, um, it should start without jumping forward. So we're going to go and we're going to take put the car down and we're going to try those two things first. Okay. So we're in the car. It's in. That's first, second. So it's in neutral. Where's the choke? The choke is here. So we'll give it a bit of choke. And so this, I hope, turns over and starts. Okay, so there we can have that. So that's good. Okay, so it starts fine. Now, I don't know why I'm putting the clutch in. Oh, now that's interesting. So I could push it into gear before. But um, now I can't. Now why would that happen? Huh. Well that I don't understand. Ah, oh, there. Okay, so that's gone in. Or has it? It feels like it's in, but not come this way. Alright, well we'll try it there and we'll see if we can jump forward. Okay, so there we go. So we jumped forward. That's what we expected to happen. So, ah, no, going first now. Okay, so that's what we expected to happen, so that's right. So I know it will go into gear um, and that it's engaging and that when... So, um, so the clutch plate isn't stuck to the flywheel, so that's good. Um, that means I don't have to drop the engine out and do all of that stuff. Now I just need to work out how I'm going to uh, get the clutch actually working. But at least that is a step forward. Right, we're going to try to get back onto the MG today. We haven't done anything for a little while, so... Um, so We've got a problem with the clutch, and uh, a lot of people are saying that it is possibly that the um, it's the clutch plate is fused to the flywheel. I think I've got a problem with the master brake cylinder. Sorry, the master cylinder, the master clutch cylinder. Uh, simply because when I press that in, I don't see the slave cylinder moving, and I've replaced it. Um, I've had trouble trying to loosen up the bolt, so what we're going to do is we're going to work on getting those loose, and whilst um, without forcing that, we're also going to start looking at the back again and uh, replacing this panel where it needs it. So that's the plan um, for now. Right, this is very hard to video. We're looking down on where the slave cylinder hose connects up. So here, the pipe from the, from the master clutch cylinder is broken. And then just below it, I don't know if I'm able to show you, but just below it is um, the, uh, there it is, right. Just below we have the, where it's bolted on, and if I turn the hose at the bottom, it's just spinning the top now, so it's all uh, rusted or you know connected together. I've been trying to get it off for a bit, um, and uh, I'm stopping for a bit now. Uh, I have sprayed it with lots of um, water disperser, you know, rust remover type stuff um, to try to get in there, and we'll give give that a go. Um, the good thing is, I guess, about this is we appear to get getting a slight leak now 
from the master cylinder, which we weren't getting before. So I think I think that pipe must be completely blocked up. Um, and even then, it's a really tiny leak, so I think everything must be blocked up. So we'll be ordering new and replacing. Right, so we have here my new air tool. This is a cutting disc so that I can try to get in and cut um, the bolt off because my previous one is too big. So I'm going to give it a quick test just to see it running. So we've got it plugged in here. There we go. And you can hear that hissing, so I haven't got that done tight enough. So it's not tight enough up here. No, well, no, it needs, it needs something on there. Right, so we're going to give this a quick test. Okay. So that seems to work. So now we're going to get into the car and uh, try cutting it off. So I don't know if you can hear me over the uh, compressor, but this is the little bolt I just cut off, blind. And I hope that now going from the top and the bottom I'll be able to get proper uh, ratchet spanners on there and actually get get uh, the hose off so we'll have a go that's not worked um, tried cutting the hose off so that I can get um, better access to both bolts and that's not worked so now I'm just going to have to resort to spending the time cutting the bolt all the way off. Um, just amazing. Well, that took some effort, but here we go. We've got top and bottom cut off. So um, we've now I can take the rest of it out and um, see what we have. Why, well, I mean that was hard work. Uh, glad I got the... I'm glad I bought that in the end because I wouldn't have got it off any other way. I mean these are... This is a bit hot still. These are... Um, well, I don't know. This is just so rusted solid I can't even... You know, you can see it all the way... Th anyway. Um, yeah, these are just, I mean, they're just so rusted. Uh, I guess it's no wonder I couldn't budge it. But the hole is there. And this looks clear. Oh, well, maybe that bit didn't need to come off. <laughs> oh. uh. Okay, so this is our master cylinder for the clutch. I've got the pipe coming along here so I've got to take this bolt out first. I think that will then free up the pipe um, at which point I might unbolt it from here and yeah I'm just still not convinced that it needs, needs replacing. Um, and it might just be the pipe. So we're going to start anyway by getting that pipe out. Um, and then we'll have a look from there. Okay, we're under the car here. I'm not sure if I've got the camera held so that it'll come out nicely. This is um, which, where we've just managed to cut off the hose. Uh, I don't want metal exposed, so I've put um, degreaser, sprayed, you know, brake cleaner on there. I think I uh, haven't felt I'm going to do a bit more. And then we're going to paint it with some uh, hammerite just to protect it, uh, make sure we're protected from the rust longer term. 
So there we go, we've got it out. Um, you'll notice this here, this is, I had to to get it out. It's a tight squeeze, I had to do something about that. Uh, so it wasn't like that when I got it. Thing is, this master cylinder I think is okay because if I can, it's hard to do one handed. But you can see, uh, it's not squirting now, but there was fluid in there still, and that was squirting out nicely. So, um, so that's okay, which kind of means that the problem must have been. I mean, it looks dreadful. Don't get me wrong, um, but I am tempted to try to clean that up. Um, rather than put in the new one. But I think what I'll do actually is I'll put in the new one and then I can always clean this up after, which makes a bit more sense. So um, that's out. It's time to try to get the new one in now. Yeah. Okay, all set up. I'm gonna press the pedal four times. I do hope it moves. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Well, I have to say, I felt nothing in terms of resistance there. So, I'm not confident now, but I was before. Well, right, so I've some more fluid going through. I know it's just going all the way now. It's pumped it six times. I can see the fluid has gone down a bit. And so now I want to see if I can see it dripping as well there. So now I just want to see what happened at this end. Well, I saw it move, so we're going to pump it a bit more, we're going to put some more in, pump it a bit more. Uh, I've got this, Ooh, there we go. Right. so that's closed, um, we might bleed it afterwards, but first of all we're going to just see how much more fluid it takes before I need to get there. So. Just filled the um, reservoir, and now I'm pumping. And so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's good because that's beginning to feel a bit more like a clutch. Um, not much movement in fluid up here, so. We're going to have another look at it, and I think what we might do is move towards bleeding next. And um, having had a look at the movement down here, okay, I'm not confident it's worked, but we're going to just try seeing if it will move now. Right, well, you saw when I started it in gear, it started up fine. Well, it jumped forward. Um, when in neutral, I clearly couldn't get it into gear. Okay. Uh, next step. 
maybe people were right maybe it's um jammed in in some way i don't know okay so yesterday um we saw that the clutch slave cylinder is now moving i don't know if it's far enough um, we also saw that it wasn't enough for it to engage gear so if I try to start the car whilst it's in gear it stays there what I don't think I did was I didn't try putting it in gear sticking the clutch in and then trying to start it to see if it's actually doing anything then and it just can't cope with it when it's going so I'm going to try that now and the reason I'm doing that is one of the things that's been said in a forum is that um, that can if you can do that, then the releasing the clutch suddenly um, might help it to disengage. So that's what we're going to try. So we have it in gear. The pedal isn't enabling it to engage at all. Um, so I don't know if that's because it's not moving far enough or if it's something else. So uh, I'm going to have to have a little read and think about that. So I've just had a little look and I found that I do have a bit of a leak. A very definite leak just there because I just cleaned that off. So I uh, clearly haven't got that on tight enough. Um, that's going to be a right pain. I don't think I've got a spanner small enough to get in there. Um, I can try taking this out again and see if I can get it from the other side. Um, but I'm going to have to tighten that without moving this. That's going to be a real pain. Sugar. I didn't know how tight to do it, and I did it what I thought felt tight, but evidently not enough. Either that or I've used the wrong washers in various places, because I didn't have instructions. But um, I put on what looked right. Okay. Okay, so I went on to this forum. MG experience, which is excellent, and asked the question uh, about whether or not, well, what could be the next thing, okay? Um, and the comments coming back here is if, if I've got it's in a half inch movement in the push rod, which I think I am, um, and because I've now sorted out the fact that it was leaking the cylinder, master cylinder, or well, I'm going to have another look at that just to make sure to, uh, over the next couple of days. Um, so given that, um, two, two basic proposals coming forward, they're saying that the flywheel is stuck to the clutch disc and therefore the solution is um, warm up the engine, uh, then shut it off um, and then start the car in gear and having got the car moving down the road a bit, heel and toe in, um, try slamming it into, taking the, um, hold the clutch pedal, press the accelerator and at the same time stab the brake. So trying to force it to stall. Um, and Tony here said he's done, does something similar. Tony actually was brilliant and tried to convince me this was the solution before. Um, I, I guess I'm now convinced. Um, so, uh, idea here is get the back wheels off the ground, put it on jacks, start it up with it in gear. That should start, everyone's saying, and um, bring it up to about 3,000 revs. Uh, press clutch to the floor and slam on the brake. So, and hopefully, and if you do that two or three times, it, the clutch will break free. So, 
Given uh, my limited space, I think this is the approach I'm going to try. I'm not sure when at this stage because um, my, my um, well, I, I almost need to sort out the carbs a bit first because it's really smoky at the moment. But that's what we're going to do next um, when it comes to the clutch. In the meantime, I'm going to do something a little bit else so I can feel like I'm making some progress and then I'll come back to this again. So, till next week. Uh, bye.